Hey, what's the deal? This is Hype South with Child Time TV. Thanks for tuning in. Eat this shit up. Today we're going to look at a vintage interview of Big Hawk, legendary member of the Screwed Up Click. Just a quick story before we get to the interview, man. I remember when Big Hawk got killed. At the time, I was still rapping. Mike Mo called uh, one of, another one of the artists I was rapping with in the group. And he said, Big Hawk had got killed. We rode out there in the middle of the night, and i never forget when we got there, we still saw the Big big Hawk truck sitting out there in front of the house off of Red Fern. And it was a lot of people out there. But one thing that i never forget is how quiet it was. It was like a surreal situation for me. It's a real scenery, it's a real environment. Uh, and it's something that really stick out to me as far as my experience in the music, in, mu in Houston hip hop, that that kind of stick with me forever, man. I'll never forget that day. That being said, here's the interview, Vintage interview, Long Live Big Hawk. For sure. What's the deal, Big Hawk? What's Thanks. been going on, baby? Man, slow boogie, slow boogie. Just doing my thing, putting me in work, constantly putting it down, saying old thing. All right, all right. What makes you get with Dead End Records? We're going to start off from the beginning, well, not the beginning, beginning. We're going to start off from the mid when the album started. Yeah, what makes you get with Dead End? Dead End, see, Dead End, that's where, see, I was really born and raised out in the third ward. Already. You know what I'm saying? And uh, what happened was, I was like, i say when I was about 13, 12 years old, we moved out in South Park in the Dead End section of uh, Martin Luther King. Uh -huh. They had the uh, Mother of uh, Village down there with Martin Luther King closed at the end. Already. So we <laughs> just put ourselves Dead End, the Dead End of Martin Luther King Boulevard. Already. So uh, me and my partners, we got together, man, you know, playing around at Screw's house, and uh, we decided to call ourselves Dead End Alive. Uh, really? You know what I'm saying? That's where the DEA comes from. Uh, once we did that, man, it was pretty much, that was pretty much, that pretty much solidified it, man. You know, I'm Dead End, we gonna be Dead End Records, uh, right. and ran it from there. For sure. Well, how, how was it like like for you and Pat growing up? Oh, man, it's normal, brother. Oh, you know, man, just like anybody with a brother, you know what I'm saying? Even my brother, 28 <laughs> years, man, you know. Oh, really? just nigga fight, nigga play, we had fun. But, you know, as we got older, yeah. we maturing as men, you know, we had more fun times. And, you know, we were both learning and feeding off each other. Oh, really? So, it was just you know, normal every day, that brother. What school you went to? I uh, graduated from two uh -huh. in 88, man, so still the people gonna be trying to figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, right, we're gonna move on to two different deaths in your life. Yeah. I mean, not the only ones that I mean that we know of. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna start off with school. What's the last conversation you had with them and oh, man, it's funny. the whole scenario? It's funny, man, because, you know, uh -oh. uh, tomorrow my birthday, man. Uh. Yeah. You know, school passed like two days after my birthday. Uh -huh. And then, funny, it was my birthday, and uh, I saw him like like the week before. Mm -hmm. I know, mean, two weeks before, I think, at D. Gotti, D. Gotti's uh, air release part. Mm -hmm. I saw him there, man. He, uh, we, man, we hadn't saw each other in so long. You know, we grew up, man, yeah. we laughed. Matter of fact, I still got a picture of just me and him we took that night, you what? know what I'm saying? And man, I just remember that night we had such a good time, man. And, and then coming to hear that news, that, that was the first thing hit my head. I'm like, I can't talk to you, man. Yeah. It can't be, that can't be true. How know? did you get the information on? Man, Big Mo call. Man. He called me Big Mo call. Mm -hmm. Man, you know, I'm sorry to call and bad or bad news. Yeah. Ooh, I'm like, ah, man, you tripping. Right. So I went on over there and just, I'm, I'm, I'm steady talking to Mo, but as I'm talking to him, I'm riding on over there. Right. And I rolled over there and just saw it myself. Oh, man. Man, that just, man, that was a heartbreaking blow, man. Because you just, you know, death is always untimely anyway, so you, you always, you, you, you talk to expect the unexpected. Right. But man, you know. When it go back, like, being screwed, man, like, we went back, man, that's, that's just, it's just a hard blow to swallow. Right. It's a hard pill to swallow right there. Okay, I'm going to go to two more. Uh-huh. Uh, -huh. uh Mr. Pat, Pat Pat, your brother. Oh, man. I that mean, was, you know. Yeah, that was awesome, yeah, man. I, I can't even, man. Yeah. You know, 
Because he was thinking about that my son back in the tree. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but uh, I mean, how did you find out? That. I mean, what? I was hit, man. That was when I was working, then. Right. I had a job, man. Mm -hmm. I so happened to get a call from my cousin, and he like, man, uh, you think something happened to your brother? You yeah. Know what I'm saying? So I immediately just leave, man, or leave. I go on the scene, man. And, you know, they wouldn't even let me in to see him, you know, man. I was just like, man, that just turned the nigga whole world around, man. I mean, everything. I was just, my main concern was my mom, man, because I, I got the type of mom that worries, worries. Mm -hmm. Y'all always worried about it. Right. Y'all in the street, y'all don't do this, y'all don't, you know what I'm saying? And, yeah. Man, just for, uh, you know, one of our sons to be gone, man, I was just like, yeah, man, I just, you know, sometimes, man, I still can't believe it. You know, I just have to go out to the grave site and just, you know, you got to see up a son here, man. And, uh, you know, to, you, you, I see a lot of pet in him. Yeah. Know? So, man, you know, that, that just really keeps us going, man. Thanks for watching. For more all-exclusive, all-original content all the time, subscribe to Child Time TV.